we love her public school. Kristen Moran's daughter is a fourth grader at an elementary school on the list of Portland public schools that may not withstand a major earthquake. It was really scary as a parent to, to learn that my daughter is in a building that um, could easily collapse during an earthquake. 29 schools in the district are unreinforced masonry buildings or URMs, which are considered one of the most dangerous buildings during a major earthquake. They were built with outdated construction techniques that used brittle material and don't have any rebar or steel reinforcements. There are many URM buildings across the city. So in October, the Portland City Council passed an ordinance saying that all URM building owners have to send out notifications to people and post signs on the building stating it may be unsafe in an event of a major earthquake. That's why parents got an email notification from the district and why all 29 schools will have signs posted near the main entrances by September 1st with the warning. While these signs are required by the city, Kristen worries what students like her 10 year old daughter will think when they see them. She's well aware and talks about how she hears, you know, that the big one is coming and um, I know this will just cause a lot of alarm for her. In a statement, the district said in part, over the past several years, we have been rebuilding some schools and retrofitting others to make them safer in the event of an earthquake. The district, though, didn't give specifics on when all buildings will be safe and instead said the process will take time and is based on available funding. I think the bottom line is we need better funding for our public schools, you know, um, you know, academically, of course, but now just basic safety. We need to provide this for our kids. We've posted a list of all the schools on our website, along with a link to an interactive map that shows all URM buildings across the city.